What's going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode reaction to The Promise Everland episode 3, 181045. Now I looked up the actual previous numbers and it's 121045, 131045, and now we're on 181045. So we're not keeping up with the number system. Because if, if it was keeping up, I, w I would expect it would be 141045. I, I, I don't know why these numbers are the way they are. Maybe it's uh, a reference to something. Don't If it's spoilerific, though, don't let me know. Um, I thought it was it had to do something with all the, all the children's numbers on the neck tat that are tattooed on their neck. Um, but we'll see. Anyways, second episode, there really wasn't much happening. There was that really creepy scene with uh, Mama. And we definitely got a new, uh, I guess, a, a new mother. Uh, the black girl, uh, or sorry, African American, if you're a uh, politically correct, but no, <laughs> but yeah, we got the uh, other the other caretaker mama uh, that just came in. So I'm ready to jump into this, guys. Uh, so without further ado, let us jump in to the third episode of the Promise Everland. Start in three, two, one, let's jam. I just hit my freaking pop mic. Gonna start off with the intro. Okay. By the way, I want to know what you guys... Ooh, that's good coffee. I want to know what you guys... Uh, what your favorite intros for this season are. For example, I, I, I still think... Kaguya-sama is number one. Promise of Land probably number two. And then number three would probably be... If I were to pick my top three, would probably be uh, Kakigurui. Because of the just how good the um, animations are and uh, and the visuals are in this, but yeah, hopefully, uh, um, if I need to fix the subtitles, I will. Um, but on so far, I mean, it looks fine. It looks like my cover is not too bad um, for everything. But yeah, I do want to know, okay, so, like, I, when, um, Connie did die, um, she had, like, these flowers sticking out of where her heart was, so, I'm curious as to what that entails, and I'm sure we'll find out later on, so. I do realize that there is black bars, I don't know, if, was that in the actual intro? I'm totally drawing a blank. Hopefully not, because I'd have to change this up. Yep, they're even saying it's a new, the new enemy. What to do? <laughs> you got fucked up, kid. <laughs> I'm sorry. Seeing. Seeing someone get hit in the face with a soccer ball is, it will make me laugh every time. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure there's a breeding place and then just like this place is place with a farm for raising... Hmm. But yeah, these guys are definitely valuable because think about it, like, think of the lifespan of a cow or cattle and then compare that to the lifespan of a human. Doesn't take, doesn't take them 12 years to get slaughtered. Not all the time. Cattle, I mean. I'm sorry, these kids are a little bit way too smart for 12 years old. I thought they used 2075. Or 2045, something like that. Bro, 
By the way, someone was saying that best girl of the season was uh, Mama, and I wanted. <laughs> I was like, boy, <laughs> you say that there's something wrong with you, and mean it. World map 2020 or 2010. I was looking at that map behind him really quickly. So the world is exactly it is in this world. It's not a sci-fi world. To this side. So she's one of the best ri razors. Or I guess in this case, best farmers. There's Emma, first one. They don't know who it is. So that's what her job is? Her job's gonna fi find out who it is? Oh shit. Jeez, that's okay. That's a figure that is a um, gesture of intimidation. Sorry, guys. I know it's gonna be hard to read up top. Sorry, copyright. Put the put the put them on the bottom. Hopefully, you guys can still see it slightly. Okay, so her name is Isabella. I don't know if they said that before. Okay, so there's only one mom, an official mom. Okay, interesting. What a fucking creepy doll. Oh, she's a snake. I'm guessing the moment you become a mom, you are basically set and not. You're set and you're good. I'm guessing, like, there, uh, she has to be keeping her, like, I Isabella, I'm pretty sure, like, she's being, uh, she's forced to do this for her own safety. That's my guess. It makes sense. And push into a corner like that? Yeah. Especially it's human nature. <laughs> Gonna stab them? I don't like you. She's creepy. She, he's gonna smile. Just weird interactions. I mean, it kind of wouldn't make sense. Uh, 
I mean, in terms... Yeah, it would make sense to go after the oldest. They would probably know the most. And especially the smartest ones. Checking... Is she checking her? Careful, don't ask too many questions. Uh, oh, so it's on the back there. She's going to still have the bump there. Hmm. Trying to figure out, because even a tracking device, because, like, even on a tracking device on a dog, even though it's small, it still is there. But small enough for the ear? That's very small. It had to be really small, I mean. She's starting to get, she's starting to think something's up. Go to the glasses. 73584. I knew that, like, the mama thing was, like, his title of rank, but. Tafari? At the Tafari. Okay, so it's the. Tafari. This is just all so much. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Crone's starting to realize she's looking at her at Emma. And Ray's gonna be. I think Ray's probably gonna notice that. Yeah, that's the thing. A tracking device wouldn't... If it's a physical tracking device, so maybe it's not. She'll... Yep. Yeah, just... Yeah, but the moment she brings out that device, she realizes that there are three kids right next to the gate. Or the wall. Maybe an electronic jammer, in a way? Kind of like an EMP, an electronic... It would fry the circuits inside of it. That's my guess.
But here's the thing, if they also all break at once, that could also pro show a problem. Carry them on the back. Oh, okay. It's smart. That's actually real smart. It's a lot of kids. Ooh, we got some jazz? I heard you like jazz. Oh, it's funky jazz. It's almost like acid jazz. Ooh, I'm vibing. I'm vibing to this music, yo. Oh. Damn it, why'd they stop the music? That was good music. Granted, it was hard to pay attention a little bit because I was just fucking jamming out, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck kind of Joker-esque fucking kind of style grin was that? Oh, okay. Are you cheating? You got a if you got a motherfucking tracking device. Damn. Because if she had that tracking device, it's kind of cheating to cut some bullshit on that. Those fucking con Those do not look like normal boots. I don't like you. I really don't like you. You're too creepy. Ooh, one. Oh, this fucking music. Interesting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Terminator made again. gear. She's some fast. Jesus, look at that face. Yeah, yeah, there's no way you're you're a nice person in real life. You've fallen into my trap card. Never mind. <laughs> and then they disappear behind some rocks. Seriously, yo, this this soundtrack is phenomenal. Funny thing is, this is also trained for them too. By the way. No one ever walks like that in real life. If you do, you're kind of crazy. I have seen a I have seen a crazy I have seen a crazy homeless guy walk like that though. It was quite unnerving.
I just realized they're the same exact boots. They're all the same pairs of boots. I knew I knew she knew where they were. Wait, how long did they have to Oh. It's gonna go after Norman. Norman is the brains. And he's the most and he's physically weak. Time's up. That girl. She's going to assume that one of those four... Gotta admit, this is definitely one of the best shows of this season, easily. These shots! These fucking shots! So good! The, the girl, the glasses. I had a feeling. Because, um, Crone was looking at her in the first place. Or maybe if, if it's not, that'll be a huge twist. That'd be a real big twist if it's not her. I can't, I don't remember her name. Now she's gonna. Now she's gonna be a. Uh, now she's gonna be unnerved. But now she's not. She, she's not gonna be able to con go with her trust. And she's not gonna be able to trust anyone now. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Highlight of this episode by far was the music. By far, that was fucking great in terms of music. But overall, as well, like. It had its moments of creepiness, but it was very, like the main the main plot point of this episode was about the whole game of tag. And damn, fucking Crone knows how to move. She wasn't tired at all, chasing them out this entire forest. She used tricks to learn younger kids. And I think Emma only got caught because she was carrying two other people. But that also shows that hey, even when you're tr when you're trying to take. Um, people with you, you're not going to be fast enough. No matter where you hide, you're still going to get find, uh, found. And it and it showed when uh, Norman and Ray were by themselves, they can get away at least for enough time. That's what I'm getting from it. I may be totally wrong, but that's what I'm kind of feeling like they're showing in a very subtle way. All right, I want to. I, I, I don't think we're gonna get a preview, but no. Okay. All right, guys, that was it for this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. That was a really good episode. Um. Yeah. Uh. Promise Neverland OST one. <laughs> Honestly, though, that like the the ending's good. The opening has fantastic music, and the music during this was jazzy, funky. I, I almost felt like acid jazz in a sense, where it was just that funky slightly psychedelic stuff dude it was really good really good and they could have and it added a playful tone to the actual whole game of tag when in reality this was them training for a fight to a, a, a game of life and death in a sense but i'm gonna go wrap this up uh i'm gonna go do a few things i know uh, i don't know when um gotobano hanayoma comes out today i think it comes out around 11 so in like 
30 minutes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to go get ready for that. I'm going to go do a few things in the background beforehand. But I'm going to go hurry up and upload this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction. Whatever you guys thought of the episode, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to read you guys' thoughts. Uh, and, and yeah, all that jazz. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I will see you guys soon for Gotoba no Hanayome if you're going to be watching it with me. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Peace.